Good morning. Let's talk about beans, shall we? Now these are our Josephine Jackson beans. Thank you again, WVU Extension Service, for these. But that's not why we're here today. Now we're going to talk about beans in particular. So these are lovely Josephine Jacksons. They look very similar to the beans that we love here, which are our half runners. But we're going to taste them, find out what they do taste like, cook them up many different ways, but I'll leave that to you guys. But we're talking today about the propagation of beans. So we got the big ones here, right? They're ready to be picked. You can pick them really, really small if you want, like this, very small, like that. Or you can pick them like this one here, a little bigger, right? Or some people like them even bigger than that, like this one here. Big and fat, and there are beans actually forming inside. You can see the little bumps on here. So all three are good to go. Or you can let them grow even more. The husk here will turn yellow, and there will be beans inside of it. Let's see if we can break it here. Yeah, right now these are still good and green inside. Look at that. That's some good eating right there. But let this go a few more weeks. The shell here will turn yellow, and the little bean inside will turn to beans. Duh. Okay, but that's not what we're here. So, we're talking about propagation. I had a neighbor who said, wow, your beans are doing really good. They're still producing. Well, I told him that, yeah, the beans still produce because of this. Now, he see those flowers here? That will turn to a bean. But, in my experience, all these beans on here, right, if I stop picking them, yeah, they will stop growing. So the bean is done. The bean will say, okay, I propagated beans. My job here is done. But I found if I keep picking all these beans off, right? Pick them off, you know, pick them off. The bean plant will say, oh no, all my beans are gone. You can't propagate. So guess what? We gotta make more beans. Hurry up, quick, make more beans. So that's what they're doing. So if you keep picking your beans, you will still get beans up until about the first frost. Actually, it's to the first frost, and then they're done. Where I live, uh, it's about first week or two of October. You get a frost, and your bean plants are done. You'll produce no more beans. First frost, they die. But depending how early you plant your beans. Where I live, I plant them around May sometime because they don't like frost, as I just said. So, plant them early, uh, about May-ish or something like that, mid-May. And by about June, they're producing beans. It's like these beautiful Josephine Jacksons here. I just planted a little over a month ago. And see that? They're producing beautiful beans already. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful beans. All gorgeous. So... Keep picking those beans because if you leave them on the vines, they will stop producing more beans for you. So keep picking. Don't think, ah, I'll pick them later. In a few weeks, they'll be fine. Nope. Got to pick them so it'll produce more beans. That's what you got to do. Unless, of course, you want beans that, you know, make little beans, you can let them on the vine. But that's your choice. But I like to pick them like this. Look at that. Beautiful beautiful bean. Good stuff. All right. So, you want more beans? Keep picking. All right. Have a great day. Good luck and God bless you.